Welcome back to Island of the Misfit Toy Collectors. Dreadnought Ryan here, and here is part two of reviews for Yojo June. This is the Cobra Arctic Bat. Um, I did just receive this. I did pick it up on the CMD store uh, out of Canada, of all places. Um, I also got a retro carded Baroness because uh, I did need that particular figure. So that one was clear. It's for $14.99. I picked this one up for about $3 over normal uh, cost. So I figured I'd take a Take a bite out of this one, pick this particular figure up, and let's see what we get. So, again, this is the artwork which you have seen before uh, through the pre-orders with the last live stream that Lenny and Emily did for the pre-orders for this particular wave of figures. He does come with a number of great accessories. A number of these are different than what comes with the regular bats, not only including the um, new head that we have for the bats, but also that chainsaw arm. Um, this is the side. Again, as with Rock and Roll, it does come with this QR code. Unfortunately, that website is not valid. Uh, so hopefully the Joe marketing team gets that fixed. Again, I will say, can we get some file cards for that? It would be great if we could save those, um, have them uh, just as collectors. That was one of my favorite things is getting a recipe box and putting all my file cards in there. Um, and with it being, you know, 2023, why can't we electronically save those? Uh, the back of the box, again, is just the normal standard for the G.I. Joe classified figures. Um, you're going to get just a breakdown of what comes in the, the case or the box itself, as well as uh, the height of the, the particular figure, um, and then just some of the additions, uh, all the legalese at the bottom. This is the artwork on the back, which is just like what it is on the front. So let's get into the Battle of the Bands. I mean, Battle of the Bats. Um, the nice thing about these particular figures, as I've said in the past, I am a bat head. Um, I love these particular figures. Love them in the Real American Hero line. Um, then when they came out in the modern style as well. Uh, so I have picked up these all. Uh, whether it's the Python Patrol, Crimson Guard Bat, the original bat, which to me is a home run, and now the Arctic Bat. Um, big differences between what we've seen with the other bats compared to this one. For any type of repaint, you should see some additions, um, and that's what you get here. Some armor pieces that you'll see up on the arms. These do come off, so you can switch these out with your other bats if you would like. Uh, he does have a different waist piece, um, which has pouches on the side, kind of like pouch here or cod piece, if you will. Um, same on the back. There is some paint app here to kind of look like if it's a leather belt. And one difference you notice is the bats back here, their sidearm is all on the left side. Well, for this Arctic bat, his sidearm is on the right side. Um, and it is that same style of pistol that came with the other bats. Um, so that's one nice addition is that will stay the same. Uh, the chainsaw arm is a little bit different than some of the other accessories that have come with the bats. Uh, this is in a softer plastic, almost rubber. Um, it does have some nice paintwork here, some silver. The teeth of the chainsaw are in the, the uh, gray plastic that it was molded in. You do have some little paint apps here. Get that to focus as well as the exhaust port for the chainsaw itself. So, um, nice addition for this. It does just plug right here into the uh, wrist. You can also plug it here into the back. One thing I will point out though, um, this chainsaw peg is a little bit loose in this particular backpack. I did try some of the other uh, accessories from the bats and they don't fit as snug in, in my particular uh, backpack as what they do in the others. Um, the other accessories that the Arctic Bat comes with, of course, is the new head sculpt as well as a new chest plate. Um, so it's an armored up chest plate, has some pouches here. This particular chest plate will work with any of your other bats. Um, the paint work on the chest is pretty cool. Um, you also have the original chest plates that did come with the other bats. You'll have that as well as a battle damage chest plate it does not have the cobra and uh, symbol on it and then also you get a regular style bat helmet that has a polarized effect for the um, glass piece where the uh, visual sensors would be for the bat uh, nice addition um, 
I love the paintwork that's on this. You'll also have some, uh, you know, paintwork here and then, you know, right on the top here. Um, I'm not actually sure what that says. Let's see if we can get it to focus in. Oh, maybe not. Uh, but basically, it just tells you that this is a um, polarized shielded uh, piece for the bat. So overall, uh, this particular figure has the same articulation as what all the other bats are. I think the biggest positives for this figure is just some of the new uh, pieces that we'll get with it. Uh, the other part that I really like is uh, with any of these other bats, any of their accessories are interchangeable. And with the fact that we've had so many third-party uh, creators coming out with different accessories that you can get for your bats, whether it's a laser sword, a mini gun, um, you know, a bloody chainsaw, you know, flame effects for the flamethrowers. It just gives your bats an opportunity to really uh, customize them out uh, and set your bats up to be the death and destruction uh, androids that we all know they are. I think it's also cool, uh, the color schemes that we're seeing here. Um, I call this my Battle Android Trooper Band. Um, they bring death and destruction everywhere they go. Oh, I also forgot. Uh, the sniper rifle that the bat does come with. This is a reissue from the color-changing Zartan uh, figure. It is basically the same as what came with that particular figure. It does have a removable um, silencer or suppressor here at the end. It does have this kind of fold-down cartridge you know exchange out that pulls right out um so you know change out the laser rifle you will uh put it back this again is in a softer plastic mine is a little bit warped i do need to to hit it with some heat and straighten it out um with most of these hasbro weapons they are in that softer plastic just because of uh being forward up you can't have something that can a, a kid can fall on and and stab themselves with or Adult collector who steps on it in the middle of the night because he dropped it fell off his shelf and he didn't know and break it. So um, but overall um, I was really excited about this figure and he is cool. I do love the new head sculpt. Um, but between him and rock and roll, I have to say that rock and roll is the figure that I think between these two it is the one that I would choose. Um, for this particular bat, I think I'm gonna give him a 3.75 out of 4. Um, I do like the additions of the new accessories, the add-ons. Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed that the chainsaw doesn't fit. And hopefully when I get my second bat uh, in, I will check to see if maybe this is just a QC issue. Um, but, you know, I, I would prefer to have all the stuff fit like it should as it does with the other bats. Um and the only other complaint I can, I can add to it is I would like to see some of the other uh, accessories that those bats did come with. Arctic Bat, I think he needs to have the flamethrower effect, um, and then maybe the claw. Uh, but besides that, again, 3.75 out of 5 is not a bad uh, score for a reissue of a figure. And damn, that head sculpt is just amazing. Um, just really fun figure to add to the collection. He will go great with my other bats on my shelf. And more importantly, um, I just keep them coming. I want a nano bat. I want a glow-in-the-dark bat. I just want as many bats as we can get. Um, I think it's a great mold. Again, it's going to be the same articulation that comes with the, all the other ones. I'm not going to go through that for you guys. But uh, if you are looking to pick them up, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Um, but again, between the two of them... If you have your choice, pick up that rock and roll figure. He is absolute fire. I hope again, thank you uh, for everybody, uh, you know, being part of Yojo June. Uh, for the folks that went to Joe Pest, I hope you had a great time. I hope you're enjoying Yojo June. Uh, and more importantly, I hope you guys are having a great day, night, morning, wherever you're at in the Island of Misfit Toy Collectors. You guys are all amazing. And I will be talking to you soon. Thanks. Thanks.